Hey everybody, this is Dimitri Pargamonic with MarketChameleon.com. I wanted to go over really quickly this IV percentile rank, which is the implied volatility percentile rank in this column here in orange. When you when you first open up an options chain like I did here in Apple, and you start looking at the option prices, one of the first questions you want to ask yourself are the options today relatively cheap or relatively expensive and we have a few different tools to help us with that assessment and we'll talk about them right now so as you see here next to the option prices we see the implied volatility and the implied volatility is a way where we can measure how expensive an option is the higher the implied volatility the more expensive the option premium the lower the implied volatility the less expensive the option premium and then the question is this option over here, if I look at it, normally what price level does it trade at? Is it 80 cents? Is it a dollar? So then we kind of go back to our history and see that's where the implied volatility percentile rank helps us out. Where let me open this up. Let's take a look at the historical data. And as you can see, this solid line over here is where the implied volatility is currently, which is around 25.4. And that's puts it in the 87th percentile rank, which we look at historically, and you could see 87% of the historical levels were below the current the current market. The the other 13% you could see over you could see over here how high they got. Um, you have your average implied volatility, your median implied volatility, and then you could see the range from the low to the high in this data set and see any how any outliers um, historically how high they got or low they got um, another the next question you might want to ask yourself well if the implied volatility does revert to the to its historical mean or if it was trading right now at its historical mean what would be that level and how does the current price compare to that so let's just go back to the options chain here and we'll let's just see how for example this option how does that compare to its historical median price level and i'm just going to go over here and reset that theoretical value which is the value in the middle and i'm going to put that to the historical median price let's just hit ok here and now this generated us a new theoretical value so you could see that this option um, normally would have been trading around 60 cents right now it's dollar 40 dollar 45 and that's why it's in that elevated 85 percentile rank of course then you have to look look is that uh are those prices justified of course if there's something like earnings coming out or some kind of news or you think that there's, there's going to be a big movement in the stock then perhaps it is justified or um if you feel like that that you know these prices are very high and perhaps you put on some some strategy or you sell that premium but now you have a basis to um and benchmarks to make that evaluation um thanks guys for watching and see you in the next video.